Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinema photographer, just a dude with a camera, and a dude with a vintage Henry J that he's building. So this is my buddy Paul's car. If you look back at some of the videos, I'll, maybe I'll put a link at the bottom on some of the, when we rescued this Henry J from its sleeping in a field forever. And Paul is here. He's going to tell you a few things about what he's done to this thing so far. So I got the, uh, it's a Henry J Sears Allstate and I gutted it. And then I skinned a 95 Mustang GT and set it right on top of it. And then I had to blend, I had to blend the rockers here to the Mustang, to the Henry J, which is why you see a lot of the Marglass or fiber all. And I'd put a 58 Ford dash in it, but I'm still trying to get things to line up. I put the uh, the ears off of the dash onto the doors so I have that neat little look on it. And then uh, I sandblasted the trunk, obviously. I got a few pinholes to weld up. And then I redid the, the glove box door. This is off a of 58 Ford. I had to add a piece of metal here and then blend it all. So I got a little low spot here to deal with, but other than that, looks pretty good. Sweet. And then... Um, I did uh, the grill bar. So we'll take a look. He's done lots of stuff to this. It's still taking, it's going to take him a while to get it all dialed in. But these cars had exposed welds here. So you can see this is what he's trying to clean up. The need is the widow peak on the rear window. get some some art deco looking pieces onto the door itself and I'm gonna modify the the 66 Mustang pony door panels to give me that cool looking swoopy back section of the same armrest so I'm not sure how that's gonna play or look yet <laughs> but that's what's coming and then um, uh, the backs of the seats I'm working on the rear panels so yeah, the upper, that. yeah, the upper section is going to be pulled in a bit. So there's an armrest section right there, kind of like the uh, Mustang Fastback. Uh -huh. And then the back seat will sit here. Let the front door close here. And then the back will sit about like this when it's all up. And then when it's down, it'll sit flush, and then we'll have a piece of wood that goes all the way right. back, just like the Mustang Fastback. Nice. <clears throat> Give it a different look. And there's still only a little bit left to do. I'm almost done, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Considering how it was when we pulled this thing out of the yeah. out of the, <laughs> and then on the out front, of the field. Um, again, I had to um, I cut off the whole nose section of the Henry J and used the Mustang, and so I had a hard time lining everything up. So I got everything kind of where it's supposed to be now. And there we go. I haven't put the hinge, hinges back on, but there's the motor, here's the air conditioning line, and I just have to do a little bit of adjusting here, and I can start hooking up and charging the AC system. So, it, 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 it runs and drives. <laughs> Look at this, is all... It's all what is that, generator, gener, Generation 4 or 5 Mustang? Well, it's an SN95 is what they call it. It's, it's I don't know which gen it is, but it's uh, SN95, so 94, 95 only. So it's basically Fox body with modern suspension, you know, five right. leg disc brakes, right. that kind of stuff. And uh, so I put, I put the, <laughs> I put the stock suspension in here that the Mustang came with on the on the '95, and then I put uh, Fox body lower control arms, and these adjuster plates, and pulled the whole front suspension in about hmm. an inch on each side, hmm. just to looks, you know, more pot roddy and not so modern. Right. And then uh, I've, I've got and a few other things I'm working on. What size are the wheels? Uh, 15 by 6 and I think 15 eighths. Yeah, nice. And what size tire? Uh, I'm not sure. It's been a while since yeah, I've been 185 50s or 185 60s in the yeah, front. Yeah, I couldn't go any bigger without hitting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, it's right there all, all the way right. around. So, considering that's factory Mustang tub. Yeah, you can well, see the rear. it's not factory. I, I got rid of the tubs on the Mustang. Oh, you I did? actually made my own. Yeah, I used Volkswagen rear fenders off of Volkswagen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Those. That's so right. You can see everything's kind of, you know, a lot of body work still left to do on the inside. Right. But you can kind of get the gist of it. That's that's how it's going to go. And then there's rear covers that go back here right. that are the back parts of the fenders. Right. And they open and close. High tech 
hinges. Oh yeah, that's all. all I like the high-tech clearance you can make them fit. This will flip down, and that's how my gas will go in right here. Nice. So, not there yet. With, with a capless, yeah. capless type. Yeah. And then I like how you did this, because these were jacked. Those were jacked. Yeah, that, all was that was factory. All that was factory. when I got it. Wow, this is crazy. So, it's starting to get there. I just, you know, got a little <laughs> bit more to do. <laughs> well, considering how this was, and I'll add some pictures of us pulling it out of the uh, out of the field. Yeah. It's a big difference. It's huge. And you got most of the rat poop out, I see. Uh, yeah, I got most <laughs> of the rat poop out. That you know. is so now funny. Now it's just putty dust everywhere. Yeah, well, that, that happens. That and spider webs. Well, that's awesome. So, this is a 1951 Sears Allstate Henry J. 52. 52. Well, really, it's 51 because they converted all the 52s. That's true. From 51. That's true. And I got so, 51 rear fenders. Right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> all right. So, I hope you guys like this video. Um, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and to share it to all your Henry J friends. But right now, Paul's going to be working on my car, the Porsche 1968. So, I'd rather him work on that than talk about his car. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for watching Filet TV.